Thank you for joining Next Labs. Today's topic we will be discussing entitlement management for SharePoint Online. The demo use cases are as follows. Access control, secure trimming based on user attributes and library address for viewing. Access control based on user attributes, file URL, client IP, and column value for uploading, editing, and deleting. The supported cases are access control for library viewing, file viewing, file uploading, file editing, and file deleting. And the supported obligations are set column value during file upload. In the demo data that we will be using, we will have AD users information for four different individuals that work in different departments and have different license keys. Our first business case is access control, accessing a library. The business case is as follows. Only users in the HR department can access HR libraries via browser. In this scenario, we will have Dong, who works in finance, will be denied permission to access the HR library. So Don will select the site contents to try to access the HR library. And in this instance, Dong has been denied access because he does not work in that department. Carolyn Welch, who's the second user who works in HR, will be allowed to access the HR library. So we see her accessing the same exact folder, and she's given permissions to access that library. In our next scenario, it will be access control viewing files. The business case here is only users in the sales department will be allowed to view the document which export control of column is set to ITAR. Here we will see that John Patterson, who works in sales, can view all ITAR documents under the sales library. So here he's accessing sales. You will see that he can access under export control, ear and ITAR files both. In the second scenario, the user Dong, who works in finance, can't see the ITAR documents in sales library. All those are now filtered and he will not be able to see them based on the policy enforcement from Next Labs. So as you can see, only ear files are viewed. In the next business case, we'll have access control uploading a file. In this particular instance, only users in the finance department will be allowed to upload files to the finance library. Here we have Dong, once again, who works in finance, and he can upload a file to the finance library. So access the finance library, choose upload as an option, browse to his particular file, he'll choose his budget document, open it, click OK, and as you can see, it's uploading the file, and now the budget file shows up within the list on finance. Carolyn next steps to Dong, in this case accessing that folder, again trying to do an upload, browsing for her particular file, in this case she's pulling up this uh, document. When she says OK, she ends up getting an error message saying that she's not allowed to upload that particular file. The next use case is access control, being able to edit a file. So in this business case, only users in the finance department will be allowed to edit files which have export control of column as ITAR and containing the keyword ITAR for which they have a matching user license. Here we have, here we have Dong, who works in finance and has a user license of 102, will be allowed to access and edit the file report with an export control column of ITAR. As you can see, report file, ITAR, and 1002 for the license. In this case, he can see that particular PowerPoint with the keyword ITAR in it. Don can now go in and do an edit on this particular file since he has access control to it. And he should be able to save that PowerPoint back out to SharePoint. So in this case, he's going to put it back into the Finance Department's folder. And as we can see, the report's been updated a few seconds ago. Our second user, Gary, who works in finance but has a different user license, in this case 103, will be denied permission to edit the report file, which contains ITAR and the keyword ITAR in it because of the license difference. So in this case, Gary's going to access it. As we know, the report has a license key of 102 needed. Gary will be able to go in and see this particular PowerPoint, sees that it's been edited by Don last, but in this scenario, Gary's going to try to attempt to edit the same file. So in this case, he's going to say that he was the last one that edited by Gary. He's now going to go back and try to save this 
particular PowerPoint to finance. In this case, when he goes back, you will see that that report was updated about a minute ago by Don, not updated by Gary. And if we look at the file again, it's been unchanged. So in this case, Gary thought he was changing it, but he doesn't have edit capabilities to it. In our final scenario, we will do access control and being able to delete a file. The business use case in this scenario is users with a sign license 1003 can't delete files that contain the keyword design. So here we will have Gary. Once again, we'll be allowed to delete the file design v1, which contains the word or keyword design under the finance library. So here he will pick design v1. The word design is located within that particular word document. He'll be able to go back to the finance department, click on it, again, pick an option. In this case, he's going to do a download option and say OK. As we can see, that file was deleted. Now we'll go in, Carolyn will be denied permission to delete that same file, in which case it contains the keyword design under finance, as we know Carolyn works in the HR department. So Carolyn, again, will try to access the design document, which has the word design in it. She'll go back to the actual uh, finance folder, try to click on that design document, and in this case, do a delete. And now she'll be denied access, tell us if something went wrong. And that's because of policy within Next Labs that controls access to that particular file and function is therein. This concludes our presentation for entitlement management for SharePoint Online. Thank you.